Hi there everyone. Today I want to talk about free will. I just want to introduce my wife. This is Yulandi. Okay, so I want to give you three examples. First example. Okay, let's say Yulandi was made for me. She was made to love me. She must love me. She must obey me. She was, must do everything that I commanded to do. I must do everything that I tell her. She must do it. Is that a free choice? No. It's because she must do it. She was made, she was basically a robot. And there is no, she doesn't love me out of her heart. Second example. Let's say Yolandi was, um, I, I go to Yolandi and I say, hey, I've got plenty of money. Look at my bank account. I've got millions and millions and millions of dollars. No, not even rands. I've got so many. You want to marry me? I'm rich. She's going to say, yes, yes, I'll marry you. Okay, now two years down the line, I tell her, hey, something happened. Uh, there was a lockdown and businesses and everything failed and I lost all my money. We've got nothing. And now she leaves me. She, she didn't marry me because she wanted me, because she was in love with me. She married me because I had a lot of money. What she could get from me, what she could benefit from me. She could have a relaxed life. And another thing that we struggle with is the fact that if God knew that mankind will turn sinful, why did He still create mankind? Think about this. The Rugby World Cup is fine Friday or Saturday. And your wife tells you, Honey, we're going to my mother. We're going to your mother-in-law on Saturday. I say, oh man, but I've got DSTV, I'll record it. Okay, so you record the game. You go to your mother-in-law, you have dinner there, along the way home, you meet an old friend, and the friend tells you, Hey man, can you believe that the Springboks won the game? Ah, oh, that spoils it. The guy spoiled the game. So still you go home, you go and watch the game. Now, with the end result that you know that the, the Springboks won the game, does that affect any of the choices that they make along the way? No. Because they still had their free will. They had the choices with all the moves, everything that they did, it was their choice. So... At the end of the day, God will have people that worship Him, not because they were forced to do that, but because out of their own hearts, they want to worship Him. They want to obey Him. They love His commandments. They love Him for who He is. They will have people that worship Him, not of what they can benefit from Him, just for who He is, who God is, um, the amazing, magnificent God that He is. They will have had their own free will during their whole lives. They had the choice to obey Him or not. They had the choice to do everything that, that they wanted to. But the end result is what determines where we go. And that's exactly why God put the tree of knowledge of good and evil there in the garden. Stay tuned for the next video.